Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So in today's video, we are going to have a review of Linux Mint 20.1 and we will have our first thoughts about it. So without any further ado, let's get started. Linux Mint 20.1 was released on January 8, 2021 and it is based on Ubuntu and further that is based on Debian. And for this video, I have installed it with the Cinnamon desktop environment. Linux Mint 20.1 is a long term support release which will be supported until 2025. It comes with the updated software and brings reinforcements and many new features to make your desktop experience more comfortable and more friendly user experience and makes usability more user friendly. When we start our Linux Mint 20.1, we get to see the welcome window. This is the same as it has been happening in the previous version and in here we have a lot of options which we can explore. For example, if I click on first steps, so here it allows us to do a lot of customization in terms of changing the mode. We can have dark and light mode. For example, if I click on it and here you can see that I have a dark mode activated. Along with that, we can make a lot of other changes as well. Like we have option of a lot of desktop colors. Here you can see that I have list of colors here available. So I can choose any one of them which suits my liking. For example, if I go with this one, so here you can see that my color scheme has changed. So you can do a lot of things here and you can choose anything as per your liking. After that, we have panel layout. We have two options here. First one is traditional one and next one is modern one. In the first one, as you can see that we have the traditional one which is being activated in our desktop environment. If you do not like to have tabs here, you can always go for the modern look. If I click on it, so here you can see that my icons and my panel layout has changed from tabs to icons. So this is very cool feature in Linux Mint 20.1. After that, we have a documentation section and this we have all the documentation which are related to Linux Mint 20.1 and we have information about new features which are added into this version and then we have release notes and in here we will get all the information about bug fixes, updation, new version of packages and software and their dates and the availability criteria about all of them. At one window, we get a lot of information and a lot of customization option. Let's check about the backgrounds. So right click on your screen and from here, click on change desktop background. So from here, I have different background for my desktop available, which I can set for my screen. So now we have Ulisa as well. In earlier version, we had Linux Mint and we had Uliana. As you can see that as I'm changing the repository, my background keeps on changing on its own. Now, if I go to my settings here, here I have a button which says play images in a random order. It will keep on changing my desktop background on its own and it will change in a random order from all the available background images. So that's a really cool feature. So we can say that in Linux Mint 20.1, we have a lot of flexibility in terms of selecting our desktop background. So I will close this one right here. Now let's talk about the search criteria in Linux Mint 20.1. In this version, they have improved a lot in terms of searching in the system. Now it filters out the search result based on the relevance. For example, if I launch my application launcher here, for that purpose, either I can click here or I can press my super key. In either case, it will launch my application launcher. So in here, 
If I write browser, it has shown me Firefox web browser. If I write web, again, it is showing me different things which are related to web along with Firefox web browser. So the thing is in Linux Mint 20.1, they have improved the search criteria. So that is a very good improvement. Now let's talk about the new application. In this new version of Linux Mint 20.1, we have two new applications. So let's talk about the web apps. If I go to my application launcher here, and here if I search for web apps and here it is just open this and in here we can make different websites or different web pages as a web app means in case you want to open a web page or a website you do not have to go to your browser and search for that you can make it as a web app so I will show you how we can do that for that purpose just click on this plus icon and from here name the web app which you want to make. So in my case, I will make it as Linux Mint Video. And down here, we will give the address of our web page or our website. In my case, I want to give the address of our YouTube channel. After that, as you can see that it has taken the icon on its own by default. So if you write here facebook.com, it will take the icon of Facebook on its own. Down here, we have the category to choose means where do you want your web app to be present in your system? So I want it to be present under the web category. After that, you have browser means which browser do you want to use when you want to open your web app? So I want to go with Firefox. So I will leave it as it is. And after that, I will hit OK. And now, as you can see that our web app has been created. Now let's close this one and search for our web app. Open your menus and just write here web. So if you remember when we were choosing our category, we choose for web. And here you can see that it says Linux Mint Video. So this is the web app. Now I do not have to go to browser and then search for YouTube and from there look for skills build channel. What I can do now, I can just click on this one and it will take me straight to the skills build training YouTube channel. The other app which has been included in this version of Linux is IPTV player. Basically it allows you to watch live TV, movies and other entertainment stuff. So let's open it. I will search for hypnotics and here it is just open it. Something like this will open up. It will allow you to watch the live TV and other stuff as well. By default, Hypnotics comes with a free IPTV provider, which is called Free IPTV. This provider only provides freely and publicly available live TV channels. Linux Mint itself is not an IPTV provider and does not provide any live channels. So these are the two applications which have been included in Linux Mint 20.1 and in my opinion, these both are really, really useful, especially the web apps. Now, let me open my file manager here. In Linux Mint 20.1, favorite bookmark has been added in this version. As here you can see that we have a bookmark which says favorite. If I go to my music folder and in here, if I create a new document and I'm going to name it as skills build, and hit enter. Now, if I go back to my home folder and let's go to public folder and in here, let's make another file and I will name it as YouTube channel, hit enter. Now what I can do here, I can mark it as favorite. So here it is, just click on it. And now you can see that there's a star appeared here. Now let's get back to our music folder where we made a skills build file here. I will mark its favorite as well. If I go to my favorite bookmark, which is right here, click on it. You can see that these are the two files which we made recently. So now what the benefit of having favorite bookmark is that we can have access to our important stuff and important files at instant of moment. We do not have to look for our files into different folders. What we can do 
we can just mark them as favorite and after that just click on favorite bookmark and all those things will be available to you in just a matter of time text editor let me open a text editor for that purpose i have to make a file okay i have already made some files so i will open this one and what they have done that if you start writing and if you put opening bracket or opening brace what it will do it will put the closing bracket or brace itself but it depends on the type of file you are working on at the moment i have just opened a simple text file so let me open a script file in my case i'm going with python file so here if i enter my opening bracket or brace you can see that it has added automatically the closing one and if i want to print something i will write print and if i add inverted comma what it has done it has added the closing inverted comma itself so in this version of linux main 20.1 they have made this big change so for those people who are a programmer or write different scripts this is a really good change for them as it will save a lot of time for them because they will not have to worry about adding closing brackets braces inverted commas and all other stuff and apart from that a lot of time our program gets stuck because of one bracket one semicolon or one inverted comma and now they also have this burden laid off now let's close this one chromium now we have chromium packages available as well in our linux min 20.1 if i search for synaptic in my application launcher and here it is just open it and now it is asking for the password just give it your password and after that hit enter and now in here if i search for chromium and here you can see that we have chromium browser available in linux mint 20.1 so we can install it and we can use it as well by default linux mint 20.1 comes with mozilla firefox as we know some people do not like to use mozilla firefox they can always go for chromium browser and they can install it and they can use it so this is a very good update in this version of linux mint now let's talk about the last topic of this video and that is celluloid in this version of linux mint hardware video acceleration is enabled by default in celluloid what it did it helped in smoother playback reduce cpu usage and the better performance of the system so if i write here celluloid and here you can see that just open it and now it is available in here and basically it is a multimedia player and it takes less resources and puts less burden on the hardware resources of your linux main 20.1 so these are really good changes so at the end we can say that linux main 20.1 has come up with a lot of good changes and they have taken care of lot of problem which user were facing like they have made improvement in their text editor then they have added favorite bookmark then they have added chromium browser and a lot of other functionality and we have also seen that that linux main 20.1 offers a lot of customization in terms of changing desktop background having different themes having different color scheme and having different panel layout so in my case i have really liked linux mint 20.1 so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video please give a like and subscribe to our channel as this channel is all about showing you how to become an it pro really fast see you in another video